Luigi and Yoshi versus Rosa Luma and Ganondorf. That is true. That is true. Ganondorf's an interesting character, pretty slow and single, but he has the power, he can block at hard and doubles. You playing now? Alright. Look. It looks like ST is going on the aggressive against against Nine Tails. Green team has been pretty bunched together so far. They take a lot of damage. Purple team just keeping them out. The purple team has excess huge stage control. SC has not taken very much damage yet. Yeah. Luigi is taking the most damage so far. Looks like he's taking the, the brunt for SC. SC is trying to edge. He got the edge guard actually. I was gonna say he should probably go help out to his partner instead, but he got it, so no complaints. S, yeah, edge guarding in doubles is not as powerful in singles. You should just, you should just. Shy is focused on nine tails. Purple team's in a solid lead. They don't have work. But they can turn around. Shy's wasting time edge guarding Rosalina, and that got his partner killed because he wasn't there to protect him. Instead of, instead of wasting time on these edge guards, they should be helping their partner out in those 2v1 situations. They have stage control, which is fine. They, they can pressure the ledges if they both have stage control. Err, that down B killed pretty early. Nah, he got the tech. Not gonna, not, that's too far away to miss. Good. The 2 be winning loses of Rosalina. Well, Gandorf was outside. Urgh, looks like looks like Luma hit Ganondorf. The way he couldn't recover, he missed his mash. Good nair, got both of them. Purple teams just running through them now. Like it's hard to commentate. It's just being they're just getting hit. Damn, with a dash attack. Whoa, looks like Yoshi has an Aegon custom on. Whoa, Luigi, why'd you die? Luigi should not have died in that situation. He could have ran it back. That's not good for Purple Team. Because if that seed had died, that would have been 2v1. But it looks pretty good now. Rosalina's type of damage, and she doesn't live for very long, hyper sense. Any good hit will should KO her. Eh, Nair would have done it there. He shouldn't have went for that move. Nine Tails is still in for Luma to come back. Here's Luma. Show I mess with Luma four times. Purple team isn't very good. Purple team, purple team needs to pressure, but not force anything, because they she will run out of options eventually. But they keep trying to force the issue, and it got hard to KO. But they, but the purple flying dragons wins game one. <laughs> no, there's no Delfino. The fans are Delfino. How about the castle siege? Oh, my God. 
Scoops! Scoops! Come on, first time's commentating. I apologize, it's hard for me to keep up. This goes in the pile. The pile. <laughs> Looks like game two is going to battlefield. Shy got the first hits on the nine tails, and Fed's Rafa got the got his first hits on S on the S heats. Blue team has a stage control at the moment. Both the greens outside, but that's looking like they're taking the most damage for it actually. Yeah, blue team's taking a lot of damage so far in the first stock. They're gonna they're gonna they gotta take it back pretty fast. You can't know what to down be. It's a horrible situation for a blue team. And that was with that again with a weird air dodge. Shy trying to edge guard nine tails again, but like nine, that that really is not good. Oh Ganon got the suicide. And SC ran to Luma's up here. You gotta watch out, that up here will can be activated while Rosalina is doing her up B. SC almost dies. Shy trying to combat Nine Tails at the edge, but Nine Tails keeping him out pretty well. Now Shy's in a 2v1 sandwich situation. He got out of it without taking damage, which is lucky. Essie's doing a good job of keeping his stock alive because he's a heavy character. And he dies. Oh, but now Nine Tails dies, and everyone's now the two stocks. Fairly even game. Essie and Nine Tails die at the same time, and then. Because Rafa and Shy have the same percents. It looks like Shy and Ninetales are doing 1v1, and then S Heat and the Fizz Rafa are doing 1v1. Uh, that strategy isn't really. If you try to play teams like that, it's not very good. Uh oh, Ganon got shot way out there, and he's dead. And he's again in the recovery. And Luigi got F smashed by Ganon. You gotta watch out for that move, it's very powerful. It's still even! Yeah. Tried to better trying to pressure Fed's Rafa, but didn't get anything out of it. There we go, down tilt, missed attack, that happens. Oh, reverse air, reverse up air, and that takes away SC stuff. So, slight lead for green team. Nathan seems content to sit in his shield because he knows that he can't be killed out of it, out of being grabbed yet. Both green. Air that down B did not kill Ganondorf. Ganondorf is a very heavy character. Shy ran right in and got the death smash. That killed Rosalina and Luma. So if they can get rid of S Oh, that grab is risky. There's no grab armor. If he reduced that up smash any sooner, he would have died. Whoa, S smash out of nowhere. Kills his teammate, and that's a bad 2v1 situation for Nine Tails. But since he has low percent, this is doable. Shy and Shy and S need to play this correctly. They need to cover one situation and force and force the next one out of Nine Tails. You need to be careful because Rosalina's back throw can't KO at near the ledge. I think. Luigi getting that damage in. Yeah, pressure of Rosalina from both sides. She doesn't have a great way to deal with that. R Luma can only exist on one side of Luigi Rosalina at one time, so getting her sandwich is very good. Shy's off stage, he can die. Hey, good cyclone. And Ninetales drops too low to recover, so Purple Flying Giants win the game too as well. Same bounce as before, they're going to game three. Oh my god. Shy got four KOs all on three in Rosalina and Numa. One on Ganon. I know that Shy got at least one KO on Ganondorf too with egg with egg launch. Press the neutral S I mean, not Shy. Got the one. Ganon KO with egg launch. Looks like Fed's Rafa's position to Luigi. Oh is it Fed versus Rafa? That takes too long to say, I'm gonna keep going to say Fed's Rafa. Game three now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, purple him with a good start. Got 70% damage twice. No damage taken yet. Yeah, both teams are on, on opposite sides right now. Uh oh. Fez Rafa kind of going. Way in on Shy. I thought he was overcommitting, but like, he got a lot of damage from that approach. Shy trying to go for Nine Tails again. Shy seems to always be the one fighting Nine Tails. He gets most, he gets all the he gets all the kills in the rest of the He seems he seems to like to pick on Nine Tails. Oh, that death smash came out of nowhere. Fez Rafa almost died for it. Whoa, that was an accident down down there. That killed Fitz Rafa. Okay, what I mean. Triple team is still has all their stocks left. Er, ST got lost his, his double jump and then he couldn't recover. He five to five. Shy almost losing a stock yet. Not quite. Nine tails holding on to all three. Fed drop on Shy having a Luigi Slugfest while well, SE gets the KO on Rosalina. Now Fed was in a 2v1 situation for a moment, but he didn't get punished for it very much. SE's. Well, SE gets it down here. I didn't expect that to connect. Good egg, too. Luigi Cyclone kill him at 170%. That makes sense. Alright, even stocks, but Fed Rafa gets stuck in Battlefield. No, he recovers. Rosalina throwing Essie back into the center stage where he could help his teammate. I don't agree with that situation. He, sh he should throw his. He, sh he should throw them away, not towards the middle of the stage. Nine Tails camping the ledge again. Essie should not have dealt with it. He can just. He should ignore. He should. Ignore, he should have pretty much ignore Rosalina and just to fight the other Luigi. Because like, if if they're not gonna do anything, he's not doing anything. That's Rafa. And nine tiles are very high percent now. They're gonna be killed by much a lot of stuff. That does smash, does it? Nine tiles is in a dangerous spot. Yeah, you always think you can roll behind there was Luma's jab, but like you always you always get stuffed by some by Rosalina's jab, so it's like you gotta find another way around that. Fed Rafa took a lot of damage. Oh, but they got the KO on Seth's heat. Purple team still in a good position. Oh, got the KO on Nine Tails. Good, good situation for Blue team because Espez Rafa has very high percent and they're very close to thinking it's a two v one situation. They gotta get rid of Espez Rafa. Shy still has two stocks, so he has a uh, health left. Green team is in danger unless they can get something going really, really fast. Looks like their best hope is to KO S Heat. Whoa, Luma took all those hits, all those picks. <laughs> Luma got up here. S Heat obviously meant that for Nine Tails, but can't complain against Luma. They should probably be going pretty aggressive now because all trades will benefit them. Ah. Uh, Okay, Luigi's off stage. Don't try to edge guard him because you don't need to. Luigi just comes back. Oh no! Shy dies pretty early. And that puts the group team in a bad situation. This could go to game 4 now unless SC can pull it. It looks very difficult. He's gonna have to KO one of them, but Ninetales is staying in the front. Oh, he gets Ninetales. Andy and uh, Fez Rafa gets. At seats. So that means the collective wins game three. <laughs> Going to game four. Seems like the Luigi switch helped out the collective. I have a sneeze. But I can't sneeze yet. That's coming though. I'm warning you for the middle commentary. The sneeze is, the sneeze is coming. <laughs> Both Luigi's fireball. Pretty safe move to throw out. Hard to punish. As he gets stuck on the platform, doesn't have his partner getting pummeled. Nine tails does nothing because his, par his partner's pummeling. 
So the fans are extremely even. 49, 44, 42. All these trades. Whoa, Ross like them. I wouldn't expect that move very much. Seems like it loses the shield. Whoa. Because Rafa almost died really, really early because it's telling him to the low ceiling. Wow, he was living. These hits that you think he'd die. So I trying to go out to Fitz Rafa instead of Nine Tails, but they should have went up with Nine Tails because his partner was fighting him alone and Fitz Rafa was off stage. You got, when you got one of your opponent's teammates off stage, help your partner in 2v1. You don't need to push your ledge because they're probably coming back. Edge guarding is really, really hard. And he whips that grab and gets grabbed in return. And Nine Tails dies. Dice off to four. Shy is high percent though. Well, risky back here. He could have been show grab for that one. Let's see four or two. Shy seems like to do falling aerials a lot. If these guys start shooting, I'll get grabbed more. Put down here through the platform. Whoa, really bad side B, but he. Yeah, yeah bad side B. Whoa, interesting down B. I caught nine tails off guard. Blue team's ahead. If they can get these stocks off, they'll be in a very good position. Forward air on nine tails. And that's what, that down throw down in B is going to kill Fez Rafa. If, I, if that's not his name, then I should be saying it like that. And I apologize for messing up your name. Yeah. Green team's in a bind. They can't get those early chaos for Rosalina's up here. They aren't going to win this. Good. That's he ignoring Rosalina and going for the Feds Rafa. She wasn't in the action, she couldn't protect her teammate. Her that down throw down B is going to kill it, see though. And this down throw down B. Ah, oh, the counter down throw down B didn't kill. I think it must, it must be stealed. Still, Luigi has too much percent. He's going to die really soon. And he stopped paying attention to Rosalina, trying to edge. Oh! There goes Fitz Rafa. Now it's only nine tails versus S C and Shy, and that's three stocks to one. This is looking bad. Earth, you got the up air. Y'all need, y'all need more of those. Oh, Luma's gone, so that's gonna take a while before we get those again. They're pressuring Rosalina, but they aren't really. They're not controlling the space where she can escape to. Which is what you need to do in 2v1 situations. They won't put some pressure, and then person cover the escape options. And they're not covering the escape options very well. I mean, eventually you'll probably make mess up somewhere, but like... you got to cover the options to, to get the kill guaranteed, or else you'll come back. And that's what's happening. Luckily, Shia isn't taking much percent, because... SC takes the brunt of the force damage, but like... If SC dies, that's a bad situation. And Purple Flying Dragons win game 3 with a good up smash on Rosalina. The Purple Flying Dragons move on. I believe that was... Yeah? Oh, looks like I got a fight bro bear. Is this still like... Is this